Hello, fellas. This is Adam filling in for Real Talk with Reef. If you are thinking about coming to Los Angeles to live and you're single, watch this video. Dating in Los Angeles is harder than most people think, and it comes with several challenges that you should be aware of. Please subscribe. Make sure to like, comment, and share this video. So because I'm in my 20s, single, and currently living in L.A., oftentimes I get asked, how's dating in L.A.? And what I have to say about that is just imagine meeting an emotionally unavailable man and learning more often than not that he has a roster with a starting five lineup like the Los Angeles Lakers and he just gives you trauma. It's messy. And I feel like the circle in LA, Orange County is so small. You just run into the same people everywhere you go. And everyone knows your business. So it's not great. And there's a lot of drama. Everybody's talking about how bad dating is in LA. And we gonna keep talking about it. Not, not a lot of good stuff out there, unfortunately. This is one of the dates that was redonkulous. Uh, there was this guy that kept hitting me up online. And he kept trying to take me out and I kept swerving because I, I typically don't talk to random men that I don't know in my DMs. That's how you get kidnapped. He hit me up. I kind of like ignored him. And then after some time, like he asked me out again and I was like, you know what? Let me give this young man a chance. Before the date, he asked me, would I mind going to Hooters? Now, I don't know if you know this about me, but I like wings. Yes, we can go to Hooters. I don't care, but I mean, it's an interesting choice. Yes, but I'm okay. I met him at his place. I go up to his apartment door. He lets me in and there's like five other gentlemen there. I'm sorry, I'm sweating a lot. Anyways, my antennas is up. I'm like, this is weird, but I'm being nice, you know? Cause I, oh, I'm so sweaty. I'm a social person, I'm nice. So like, it wasn't really a problem for me. It was a problem. So eventually he's like, all right, you ready to go to Hooters? And I was like, yeah, I'm ready to go to Hooters and get the hell out of this awkward situation. Why did all five of his friends come with us to Hooters. Not only that, we all sat at the same table. I hate it here. After this date ended, I told him, yeah, we're never going out again. I was like, what, why? Who said that Hooters was fine? And I was like, yeah, I said Hooters was cool. I didn't expect to have to go on a date with you and five of your closest friends. I am sweating a lot right now. I'm sorry. It's like 106 degrees in Los Angeles. Right. That was a terrible time. I just told him, I was like, yeah, no, it, I, I didn't expect to have to hang out with you and your friends this whole time. So that was weird. This is ridiculous. This is why I can't stand most people. He then says, what did you expect for me to take you to Paris or something? First of all, no. If you did try to take me to Paris, France on a first date, I would be very concerned for my own safety and concerned about you. I do expect to not have to go on a date with you and five of your closest friends. Yeah, okay, bye. My issue dating in LA is that I get too excited every time I see a Like an actual black man I would consider dating. It's like, you have to be the one because there are literally no other options. Nada, zilch, zero, zero. I can't date a white man. What's the dating scene like here in LA? The I, smile came out. I don't <laughs> like actors, models, or musicians, and there's a lot of those here. It's a lot of people asking each other, what do you do? And as soon as that question comes out, I'm very bored. I don't really care what your job is. I don't really want to tell you what mine is. But it's really based around that world. What would you prefer to talk about? But we can just talk about like what's happening and start joking and then have it naturally unfold. Mm -hmm. But as soon as it becomes like really inquisitive, like what are you up to? Why am I being interviewed? interviewed? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I have to do natural. the interview, though. Yeah. So, you know. This is why you do not date out of your neighborhood in California. I understand now, guys. I understand. I, I get it. I get it. Okay. I live in North Hollywood. Okay. He lives in Marina Del Rey. If anyone knows anything about California, that is an hour drive on the 405 every single time. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what time. It's our drive. So we literally are in luggage bags, like all the time. My skincare, my makeup, my hair accessories. They're not 
not nicely put away in my bathroom anymore ever since we started dating. They are literally in my travel p- pouches because I'm literally jumping from my place to his place because now we've established s- lives in two different places. And now we just got back from the trip. I still have my luggage. There's laundry. I just got that gym bag two days ago from Marina because we thought we were going to stay here for the weekend. But looks like we're going to have a beach weekend. Be all cute on the west side. And just we're going to be there. I'm literally sweating bullets right now. And I don't know what to bring. I have my kind of nice stuff here. I have my backup stuff here because I'm honestly never here anymore. My plants are still here. I literally am living a double life. I don't understand. I don't get how people do this. This is why you do not date out of your neighborhood in LA. I get it. I get it. I'm so stressed. I'm about to tell you the real reason why dating in L.A. is so hard. If you're single and living in L.A., you're probably really discouraged and frustrated with the dating scene here. And I'm about to put it all into perspective for you. Unless you are born and raised in California, everyone in Los Angeles, probably 90% of us are transplants from somewhere else. So this means 90% of us woke up one day in the original hometown where we are from and decided... I'm going to leave everyone and everything I know to move to LA and focus on myself. People move to LA to be selfish. Everyone here is focused on their goals and their dreams. They sacrifice everything to move to LA and be selfish. And while you are here putting in your blood, sweat, and tears, you don't really have time to date. And all of a sudden, you start to feel really lonely. And then you're like, you know what? Maybe it's time to start dating. So you get on the apps, you start meeting with people, you start talking to people, and then you finally find someone that you click with. And you're like, all right, this is really great. Two to three months in, all of a sudden you're like, man, I feel like I'm spending too much time with this person now and I'm not focusing on myself as much anymore. And then all of a sudden you're like, I'm still not done making myself my number one priority. The problem is so many people think they want to be in a relationship here, but then once they start to get into one, most of the time they fall out of it because they're not done making themselves their number one priority. So if you're constantly falling into this pattern of this relentless cycle, it's not you. It's just LA. People don't come to LA to find love. People come to LA to find themselves. When it comes to dating in Southern California, LA, Orange County specifically, if that person lives 30 minutes away from you, that is considered a long distance relationship. In reality, 30 minutes, literally anywhere else in California is 30 minutes. But down in Southern California, that is down near an hour and could push to sitting in traffic. Just keep that in mind. If you want to keep things local, totally get it. If you want to do that long distance, I just hope you have gas money because gas is like $6 or more a gallon. No disrespect, like women I've met in LA, I just feel like they have no idea really what they want. Mm. But they have this idea mm. of like... I deserve so much, but I don't put out anything or I don't give anything. And it's just Mm. like, okay, well, like, I mean, I hate to say it because I mean, what are you bringing to the table? Like, for me, I want to build a kingdom. Oh, so you know what I mean? I want to build an empire. So it's just like, if I want to build an empire, I can't have someone really just taking from it and making it just all about themselves. And here, I just feel like you get more insecurities where women on the East Coast, they were very much more like, This is what I want. Less games. Here, it's like a little bit of a game. Clout chasing, ego chasing. But let me ask you something. Are you dating women from LA or are you dating transplants? Women that moved to LA. What's it like dating in Los Angeles? I only tried it once. I went on like Bumble and went on one date. And then I was like, okay, that's enough of that. So (laughs) how bad was it? Well, the place that he wanted to go wasn't in business anymore. How did you like, like, how did you not realize that? But also how did I not realize that? (laughs) So then it was kind of like, oh, what do we do now? That sucks. (laughs) Sorry, that sucks. Like, sorry to hear that. (laughs) I went through her fucking IG. It's DMs of like with Trey songs, Sway Lee, me, (laughs) like categories of and I had to realize, like, the range of which women are able to kind of 
operate in LA is very wide and it's 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 to the point of like there's just too much access. You know, what I mean? I'm competing with Sway Lee. You get what I mean? Like, <laughs> I do. The I shit do. just came out. Right. Everybody in the club doing the mannequin challenge and he's with, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm competing with this next at the time. So right. that makes it very, very hard. So how did that make you feel? Are you like, oh uh, shit, like I'm intimidated? Yeah, you know, it definitely like hits you like, okay. okay. You know. <laughs> But you got to compete. As a man, like, you have to compete. You know what I mean? And so you got to just step your game up. It goes both ways. So as a man, like, you have to know, I've known what I've done and, like, who I got in my DMs. And so it's like, all right, mm -hmm, eye mm -hmm. for an eye, mm. which makes the whole world blind, <laughs> which is why L.A. is horrible. Like, this that this is why right there. So everybody got options. Where the fuck are the decent men in LA? In Ohio, I just stayed away from them because why would I want to date someone in Ohio? Girl, you are preaching to the choir. I... There is no one authentic in Los Angeles. Like I walk down the street here and everybody is fake. I'm just like, am I the only real one here? BT dubs, I totally feel you on Ohio. Too many poor people. But then Los Angeles, plenty of money, but no one's real. What, do I have to go to Chicago where I may get shot? Also, I love you, so let me tell you, this is a sister. You're cracking here, 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 and here. Okay, that's it. Just a little tick, 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 tick. You're sorted. I love you. I just want you all to know that yesterday I went on a horrendous date. I did get this shirt um, because I went to the Lakers game. So this is a win. Um, and the Lakers had a win. But my date, it was an L, you guys. Um, people are always like, oh, my God, it's going to be so fun dating in L.A. Uh, let me stop you right there. Okay. It's weird. It's never been this weird. This was pretty bad. Date was cool, like going to the Lakers game, got food before that combo, too long. It was hours of time spent together. Already knew I wasn't into him romantically from the jump, but I was like, this could be fun. Like, again, Lakers game, playoffs, all the things. When I tell you guys, I contemplated leaving early. Like, we joked about, like, oh my God, if someone left in the middle of a date and then towards the end of the game, I was like, I'm not going to lie, I'd like to go to the bathroom and get out of here. Um, it was like this man, he doesn't have social media, so he won't see this, I don't think. Um, and if he does, he was lying to me. So it's his own fault. He, by the end of the night, was the ick in human form, like to a T. I was literally like, oh my God, I'm crawling out of my skin. He was like oddly demanding, which anyone who knows me, don't tell me what to do. Um, very touchy, despite me making very clear that I was not interested in that way. He even made a comment like, you don't like to make eye contact. And I was like, mm, no, cause you're creeping me out, bro. Um, he told me to put my phone away. Mind you, I wasn't like on my phone. Like we had been together for like seven hours. So I was like, you know, checking my phone here and there, taking Instagrams of the game, whatever. Literally told me to put my phone away. Um, told me I needed to make better eye contact, uh, kiss my shoulder, kiss my hand, all of this at the game. First date, first date. Okay. Um, and then he definitely was throwing him back. And I like to drink. This was excessive. He was definitely pretty drunk by the end of it, which maybe was making him even creepier. Um, and yeah, I quite literally like was ready to run into oncoming traffic to find my Uber to get away from this man. Um, no social cue. Like he was reading nothing. I was like giving the vibe that I was not interested. And instead of being like, mm, she's not interested, he would be like, you don't seem touchy. You don't like to make eye contact. You don't. And I, at one point I finally said, I'm not making eye contact because I think you're going to try to kiss me and I'm not interested. Did that stop him from trying to hold my hand, trying to kiss me anyway? Mm -mm. I did not. So I won't say all dating is bad. That was pretty trash. Game was cool. Love that. It was free. Love that. Got a nice shirt. Love that. Otherwise, don't recommend the dating scene in LA is so trash. What do you mean you want to hang out at 11 p.m.? And then you say you're going to go to the club and then hang out with me? What the fuck do I look like? Like a sandwich that you're going to save for later? <laughs> I just don't understand. But you don't want me. I need somebody to want me real bad. Real bad. Is there a city worse than LA for dating? I feel like I'm genuinely asking because I don't really know the answer to this and I can't imagine that there is. And I know this is gonna sound crazy because like all my content is about like dating and relationships and whatever, but I've never been on like a terrible 
terrible first date. I don't have your like typical dating horror stories and I think that's just because I'm really picky and I feel like I vet the guys that I go out with like a lot before going out with them. I've never had like some awful experience that's, hap that's happened to me like thank god. The problem is just that every date I go on is honestly just mediocre and I just don't believe that narrative like oh all the good ones are taken because no offense to anyone that I know but they're kind of with mediocre people too. Is it like just LA? Like do we just breed mediocre people? From my experience dating in LA, I've started to gather that all of the men, literally all of them, are basically looking for a girl that's a model or very close to it. And there are so many beautiful girls here. It's unbelievable. I see somebody every day that I'm like, holy shit. But with that being said, they then complain that no one here has a personality. And I'm just here to say that we actually are here. There's actually a lot of us. We might just not look like Kendall Jenner. Like our dating app photos might just not be the cover of Vogue, you know? And in turn, that's made me very unattracted to most of the guys here because I really value my personality. And that just doesn't seem to be a major priority here. And so what do I do? You know, I don't want to move out of the city. I actually love LA. It's so big. There's so much to do here. The weather is amazing. I'm, I really need the sun for my health. So somebody help. I never thought of myself as a relationship girl, but since I've moved to LA, I've been single for two years and I realized it's the longest I've been single since I started dating. I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I'm like protecting my peace for the first time in my life. But also dating in LA is an extreme sport. Last year I matched with a guy on Tinder. I hate talking to them online for too long. So I was like, Let's just meet up for drinks. I suggested a place to meet near me and he said, okay. The day rolls around and he asked if we can move to a bar near him. I was like, okay, that's fine, sure. So I go to this bar, we're chatting, we're having a good time. And after we finish up our drinks, he's like, you can come over for a bit. We can just have another drink and chat some more. Now that sounded like a normal ask and I was enjoying my time. So I said, yes. As we were walking over, he was like, Okay, just so you know, my roommates are a little bit goofy. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, what's a random hookup without a weird interaction with their roommates? We walk into his place, and immediately there's like six people sitting outside, having a drink, chatting. It's Friday night, so I didn't think that was that weird. One of the low-key funnier parts was that one of the guys had just gotten like seven tattoos and was asking my opinion on them, and I remember thinking they were all kind of ugly, but... You can't tell someone, sorry, that thing you just permanently put on your body is pretty fugly. But whatever, we push past them, we go to the back of the backyard or porch or whatever it is, and we have a drink and we're just chatting. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a tent. So I'm like, what's with the tent, dude? So he tells me that one of their buddies is the landlord, but he's not full-time in LA. When he is in LA, he sleeps in that tent, and when he's not in LA, he sleeps wherever he lives. We go inside. There's maybe 20 people crowded around the TV and living room and dining room area, so I immediately get the sense this is like an adult frat house. He takes me to his room, and guess what I find in there? Bunk beds. No closet space, no nothing space, just bunk beds and me, baby. At this point, I've decided I'm not hooking up with the man on bunk beds, so I'm going to use the time here to get some questions answered and then scoot. Some things I found out. One of these rooms, there's a married couple who is sharing a room with bunk beds with other people. The guy that I'm on a date with used to date one of the girls who lives in this house, and now she's dating another girl that lives in this house. They have mandatory weekly activities that you have to get a doctor's note, family note, or other major excuse to get out of. I go to the bathroom, and in the bathroom is this incredible list of rules. On the list of rules, it said that every person was allowed three guests a month, and you had to approve them 24 hours before their arrival, meaning I was approved 24 hours before my arrival, before he ever asked me to move the date to the bar on his side of town. Also in the rules, I found out that everyone was allowed one downward spiral before you would have to be reported to the Sparkle team, who was in charge of maintaining the house. I called my Uber from the bathroom, but imagine, it could have all been avoided if he had just gone to a bar near me. You're 30 years old now. Yeah. Do you want to settle down with someone? I would love to. It's just really hard in this city. I feel like the only people I see are my 40 friends, which is you guys, every day. I don't meet anybody new ever. It's the same people, which I love. I love that. You know, it, it's, it makes it easy, but it's really hard to like meet somebody. Well, what exactly um, are you looking for? 
a, a really funny girl. I normally go for brunettes that I've noticed. Um, dark features. Um, shorter than me, please. Being single in West Hollywood is like going to the grocery store and seeing this really hot guy and you're like, oh my god, this might be it. This actually might be it. And then this other really hot guy comes up behind him and is like, babe, have you gotten the eggs yet? Like, why I think any man within a five mile radius of this place would want anything to do with a little blonde girl, I have absolutely no idea. Dating in LA is the absolute fucking worst. And I found someone, I'm in a loving relationship, but oh my God, am I so glad that the dating part is actually over. It's so bad because everyone moves to LA thinking they can be someone. They think they are better than other people because they were in their high school production of Seussical, so now they can be an actor. And yes, the boy I ended up with is an actor. <laughs> he is good at it. Thank God. Because I've dated some bad act, but everyone moves to LA with this God complex. And so people on dates just think they can do things for you that nowhere else would people be okay do. Like one time I was on this date and this guy was like, I'm going to play a song I wrote for you. And I was like, okay, question mark. I didn't ask you to do that, but whatever. And it was a song he wrote about the movie Portrait of a Lady on Fire, which is a beautiful movie. He was a bad singer and he was crying during it. And I was like, I don't need this today. So if you moved to LA, Try not to date actors. I was like, this is hell. May the force be with you.